What's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to show you how I make a classic hip hop boom bap beat with a sample. It sounds like this. What's up YouTube? And welcome to my channel. I'm the Real Baby B. And on this channel, I'm going to show you how I make beats with samples, how to tutorials like this one right here, and also vlogs on different vinyl pickups I'll be doing in different cities that I'm traveling to. In this video, I want to show you guys step by step on how I chop samples, add a drum break, and create a classic hip hop beat with samples. Now let's get to it. All right, the first thing we want to do is find our sample. And we sampled Gary Wright. It was Dreamweaver. Let's go ahead and put that sample in there. Let it load up. Now, I have a favorite BPM that I like to read to make beats through, and it's generally from 80 to about 88. It's usually where I like to create my beats. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can either find the BPM of the sample and set your BPM to what that sample is, or you can set the BPM to what you want and time stretch the sample, which is how I prefer doing it. So I'm gonna go in here and let's say, I'm gonna set this one for 83. All right, so my BPM set now at 83. Now what I want to do is, is I want to go ahead and chop this sample up. So I'm gonna hit sampling, nav, edit. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and listen to the sample. I'm gonna sample the beginning part of this and then a few a little bit of sounds towards the end, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. I'll start set this to where you want it to start. Okay. Set that to where you want to start, and I don't need any of this over here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, zoom in. And then now what I like to do because I like to chop it up to 16 pads. If I chop it up to 16 pads, I like to do an eight count. I usually end on the nine, so right in here. And I got pretty much all the sounds that I need. So now that I know where I want to sample it at, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut everything else out by truncating it. So I'm gonna hit truncate. You see it now I only have the piece that I want to listen to. See that? So I just have the little piece of the sample, so I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit more just to get out this little bit of tail left. Cut that out, and now here we are. Okay, so that's it. So now, the important part is, is now we wanna time stretch it. So what we're doing here is when we're time stretching it, we're allowing it to fit the 83 BPM. All right, and you're gonna see it's gonna sound different once I apply the time stretch. So I'm applying it now. Okay, now let's listen to it. Oh, 
it's not much difference there so I must have pretty much hit it on the BPM it was already set at so now I want to slice it up and I like to split and like I said go into 16 pads so the slices are on 16 and you can hear it But you're not done now because now yeah I like to apply it to a group so I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply to hold down the group button and apply it to group after that you have to hit the apply button there now you see it's in a group All right um, I'm gonna go ahead and basically if I hit play it's gonna play the whole sample see watch <laughs> delete that everything is still there now the next thing we need to do is choke them so the samples cut each other off otherwise you're gonna hear them overlapping that's not what we want so the polyphony you have to set that to one all your pads and now if you hold down pad mode hit the arrow to the right you want to put your choke group to one every pad that goes for every pad so now you're gonna hear them all cut each other off to be so far yo this sample is fire I can already tell I can already tell this is about to be fire hold on now that the sample is chopped up you know what I'm saying everything's laid out I don't have to, to tweak it or anything it sounds good the way it is now we have to find some drums when it comes to the drums what you want is you want a kick you want a snare and you want a hi-hat okay you can also put a bass in there, a bass line, and uh, some cymbals, whatever else you want to throw in there. But the main things you need is a kick, a snare, and a hi-hat. All right? You can do that individually, or you can go ahead and get yourself a drum break. That's what I like to do. I like to get some dirty drum breaks, some real hip-hop dirty drum breaks. And you can cut that up yourself. You can cut up the drum breaks, or you can just find a loop of a drum break and let that loop through. It's your decision. So right now I'm gonna find a nice dirty drum break to go with this. Some grimy. Okay, okay so this one sounds good. Let me put this one. Now I'm gonna throw this one back I'm going to pull up group A. You don't want to put it in group B because this is where your samples are. So let's go back to group A and throw it into sound 2. Okay, so after you put it into sound 2, you want to go ahead and make sure you're going to time stretch the drum break as well. So go ahead, go back into edit. Go ahead to time stretch. Apply it. Now it's going to allow it to loop over and over again at the correct BPM. So now we're going to get out of sampling. And I know it's in number two right here. This is our sample, the original sample that we chopped up. And then this is our drum break now. So I'm going to go ahead and add a bar there. And I want it to loop for a little bit. That's what I'm at. Alright, 
So now listen. It's gonna keep looping. And now as the beat is playing, the drum break is playing, I'm gonna go ahead and play the sample. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's just one pattern already off the bat. One pattern, that's fire. Okay, I can still play with the other pads and see what else I can go with. But for now, that's one pattern I could do. That's a start for the beat. Depending on how I want the pattern to go, this beat might sound something totally different. But at the end of this video, you're going to hear exactly what the beat's going to sound like at the end. All right, you guys, that's all there is to it. I hope this helped and inspired you to go out and make some fire beats. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll continue to bring you more beat making videos. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be notified as soon as a new video is uploaded. Thanks again for watching. Peace.